Woody Cape's aim is really to collect top genetics of all our different species from around the country and through professional and dedicated management together with scientific research we want to produce the next era of wildlife for the market. Together with Ecala Veterinary Services in Grahamstown we have a research division which contributes to the data we need to be able to manage the wildlife effectively to improve our productivity in our buffalo and uh, our other game species and at the end of the day we creating animals that are able to be relocated anywhere in the country. We have a meat program where we provide the communities with meat on a, on a regular basis. We also assist them with drinking water. We also help them establish their own businesses and determine their own destinies. At Woody Cape Wildlife, we definitely want to be a part of the, the bigger community and want to certainly make a contribution in all areas to our industry. I have been involved in the game industry for about seven years. I'm blessed enough to feed my passion, and that is to be custodian of God's wonderful creation that is wildlife. My wife Claire and I aligned ourselves early on with other like-minded individuals in our area with the creation of a study group called Karoo Midlands Wildlife. This is a great place for everyone to learn and share on all levels and aspects of game farming. It was out of this study group that the blueprint for the brand Summit Wildlife came into being. As a founding member of Summit, our aim was to create a community-based platform to showcase some of the best the Eastern Cape has to offer and also offer Eastern Capers the chance of acquiring some of the best genetics nationwide. It has been an extreme honour and privilege for us to be able to marry our product, the CaptureNet, and our platform, Summit Wildlife, in a form of a charity lot at our recent auction. We are very pleased by how our donation of a net grew into a life changer for the recipients. Conceptualizing and refining the Dadum Capture Net and taking it to the market has been very inspiring. What we have managed to achieve in such a short space of time is true testament to the product. I believe it has revolutionized game capture as we know it. We are extremely humbled to be in a position to be able to make such a huge difference in other people's lives. At Glen Harry, we have many different facets that make up the farm. We have a sable breeding project with a very well-known sable bull called Andrew that we acquired from the Cricks. And then we're starting a new buffalo herd now. What we're trying to do is acquire all the top bulls of the country into one herd. I'm extremely excited to see where it takes us and the type of genetics that we will be able to offer in a few years time. Our hunting element is very important to us and it's very important to the conservation of our properties together. We also make use of all of our venison, we make our own sausage, we make our own biltong and drawers, where our guests that stay at our lodge get to enjoy it. We also have an unbelievable vegetable garden that produces some glorious veggies in the summer months so much so that we hardly have to buy anything in. Being a young woman in the game industry comes with its own challenges. But my message to young ladies out there that want to work in the game industry is if you have the passion for it, 
you can do it. We run our business on three pillars, namely game breeding, ecotourism, as well as the hunting safaris. We utilize sustainable conservation methods by breeding our animals up and then only taking off certain number of animals that will not be detrimental to the herd. And we believe that we manage not just the animals, it's about also managing the grasses, the trees, the browse, the grazing. We find it's all an intricate balance. From our hunting side of things, we have over 100,000 hectares worth of concession land that we hunt on solely in the Eastern Cape. We also believe in genetic diversity in our herds, bringing in genetics from all over the Eastern Cape as we are proudly Eastern Cape. We've been involved in various platforms in terms of helping with legislature, trying to get everybody to, to work to the common goal. We keep everything very close-knit to our team we believe in enriching the people that we employ. We call ourselves the Bucklands family and it's not just me and the family that runs everything. I've got a team and support staff that I couldn't do this without them. Mir Estate is a wonderful property that is the dream and vision of Nonkobela Mayatula and Ivan Berkasa. To be a part of Mir Estate and, and the development in the wildlife program here and also in the Eastern Cape as a whole, including the Eastern Cape Parks Transformation Program, is, is a huge privilege to be a part of. We're going to be focusing majority of the time on top-end genetics and hopefully contributing to the genetic diversity within the Eastern Cape and the country as a whole. We now have some very special species on the property, such as Bontobok Cape Mountain Zebra, which we are hoping to, to breed into some very decent numbers in the future. Sable is another species that we've introduced fairly recently and seem to be doing very well so far. We've introduced some top genetics from outpost game breeders and from Nyumbu Game, Norm Anatomy, in the form of a magnificent Matetsi bull. All in all, Mir Estate Hotel and Spa offers a complete package in terms of the accommodation and then this incredible environment, the coastal, the animals. It's one of the few places where you can come and watch Sable, Giraffe and Eland and see whales playing in the background at the same time. Twenty seventeen 2017 marks five years of existence for TTB in the hunting industry. TTB runs operations across Africa, Southern Africa as well as East Africa, which includes Uganda, Zimbabwe, Namibia and Cameroon. At TTB we try to optimize the value chain through different activities in the tourism industry. We focus mostly on hunting, we also do game breeding and we also do ecotourism. Community involvement to me is something that lies very close to my heart and it's very important to include the entire community in everything we do and every aspects we do. It starts from as low as something as job empowerment and job creation, making sure everyone that works with us gets taken care of. We've also started with a meat processing facility, processing all the game we hunt and distributing it to our various lodges, distributing it to our staff. And we also have a 2 db Foundation, which is a non-profit organization registered in the United States and taking care of children you know, at, at a very young age, providing good 
nutritious meat to them. We just create an environment that is of such nature that you know people want to excel and people want to be part of. We create a trademark and that's to be. Het belangrijkste van ons in plaats is bewaren van ons veld. En hoe ik al mee begin het was specifiek oor die hele uitdaging wat ons het in die bedrijf van constante beweiding op diezelfde grond. So ons het een navorsingscomponent ook waar ons specifiek gaan kyk na specie inpak. En ons het met die concept van herders gekom. In die oopreservaat het ons nou die herders wat met die die skaap neem graas effect naboots. Dan het ek op een nieuwe gedeelte van die eindom het ons gedeelte waar ons een trop buffels gebruik om soortgelijk te doen. Ons wil een wilde dier teel wat die beste genetika is, maar nog steeds kan we leef in enige omstandighede in veld. En dit geef je vir ons toegang tot, tot sociale ontwikkeling. En is ons bezig om vir ons werkmense deel te maak van die economische plannen wat ons het. Ons het 120 mensen wat vir ons werk. En hulle kinders het ons dier die kruis en nasoorcentrum en dagsoorcentrums. En ons zou niet dit kon doen als het niet was dat ons vir ons veld omgee. In eerste plek nie. In die tweede plek dat ons goeie dieren teel nie. En van die beste genetika in die land het nie. Ek denk ek kan roe die oorska opgee vir ons eigen geleentheid om net in een ander context te kyk na die wildbedrijf. Maar ons passie hoe alles is om alles te laat werk. En vir mense te kan sê, die is het ding wat kan werk, kan vir elke boer werk. We've been uh, game farming intensively for almost four years now. We've got uh, a Matetsi sable herd. We've got uh, a couple of black impala herds going. We've got a golden yala breeding project going, which we're very excited about. And of course the buffalo. Our camp sizes range between 20 hectares and 50 hectares, depending on the species. We use rotational system for all our camps. You cannot keep stuff in camps until eternity, you've really got to uh, change them around, give the camps a chance to rest. Doing what we do now intensively, it allows you to get so much closer to the animals and learn so much more that you didn't even know before. It's a massive privilege to be able to farm with these, these animals and farm the way we do. And uh, I've been a PH for, for many years and uh, I really enjoy the hunting side of things, taking people out, letting people experience the the, the, the outdoors. Our philosophy is to produce animals here in the Eastern Cape for the Eastern Cape farmers that are adapted to the unique conditions here in the Eastern Cape and through our group New Frontier hopefully uh, we can do that. Gobos Hope, Real Magic Wildlife. We believe in having a holistic farm approach. Instead of breeding in smaller camps, we believe to have the animals in larger camps and larger herds. Our sable herds are ranging from 80 breeding animals. We believe that instead of keeping our bulls in smaller camps, we have them in nice big camps together. By doing this, we've increased our horn growth. So added with that, we grow all our own food and own production on the farm. Furthermore, we have a lot of good genetics here. We believe in a strong genetic pool. Instead of having just from one genetic, we have a lot of different genetics from Peter Toy, we have uh, animals from Jacques Milan, we have Norman Adam, Tina de Jager. And from our stable side, uh, Dries Fisser and Tom Brown is one of our better breeding bulls. And we're striving towards breeding uh, better and better Matetsi animals. At the same time, we enjoy breeding good quality Zambian sables and we're not just focusing on horn length but focusing on body conformation, body size and the overall conformation of the animals. To help 
put Easter Cape on the map with having superior gene quality. We try to help other farmers wherever we can with good quality genes. When I started as the only reserve back in 1990, we opened our doors, there was nobody to copy. Um, it was just a weird dream or idea that I had. And I think what, what's made it a success is if you enjoy what you're doing, you stand a lot better chance of succeeding. We were the first reserve in the Cape province, actually, not even the Eastern Cape, to get free roaming lions. And we've also then subsequently got elephant, and rhino, and buffalo, hippo, and every year I'd buy more animals. We now get about 20,000 people a year, uh, mostly in summer. And I could just get exciting. Every day is exciting. There's always something on the go. Some of the new things we're doing is we've got a big boat that we launched in 1st of November and we're actually starting marine safaris, marine tours. We like to serve what is available on the day, which is a mix of venison and whatever we've got off the reserve. So it's really been an industry that's taken off and quite exciting. It's been a good ride.